Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cassette Beast video. Let's see, we're going to be going and fast traveling back out this way. And trying our luck again. Okay, we went a really long ways north, so I'm thinking maybe we go to the south this time. Well, they kept you fast. We couldn't escape them at all. Okay, well, well we can't escape them. We're going to try to record them. Because we, uh... I tend to blame that just a little bit, but... Because, yeah, we, uh... I don't think we actually got you yet. If it's often presumed that masquerades use the face like armor plates on their heads, lore and aspect of prey. This is a myth. Face on the heads are actually very creepy and can not possibly prevent anyone to approach them. <laughs> so I think we're just going to need to do chopper chop on you and sonic boom and stuff and then we should probably win. Yep. about this island but I was little. You know, if they really did dream about this island when they were little, that might have some implications for what the island is and stuff, so like probably shouldn't joke about that kind of stuff. But you only really say that if you're being serious. Isn't this place magical? Um, yeah, I guess if that is one way to look at it, it is magical. Okay, so up here seems to be the switch to maybe I'll like the chest down there, which means I need to go back this way. Let me right here. I thought I saw something over there. Oh, what the heck? Um, well, I forgot to turn on my timer, so let me do that real quick. We know one thing we want to do. That is to take out the back of loop, and then we'll try to get the snoop in. Oh, don't flinch me. Okay. Slice. Tonic boom. Hopefully that won't kill the snoop in. Okay, it did. It one shot at him. Not the end of the world. We're so close to getting that. Like, I have to believe this is the way, and I'm just, like, messing it up. Yep, we got it. Okay. Now, does this actually unlock the chest, or does it do something else? Okay, it unlocks the chest. So right there's a little crack that we could maybe go through. Oh, would you look at this? I found one of those places we need to blank, but yeah. You think he was doing anything for the people in the world? Okay. Carl is really Carl Marx. He's gonna just have a lot of references.
Okay, good. That missed. That was going to be bad for us if it didn't. Sonic Boom almost took you out. I think I need this um, elf for my mission. <laughs> okay, so you're an ice type and we just lowered your defense. Okay, I was about to say, if that wasn't it, then Sonic Boom was probably going to finish you off. Hmm, that's nice. If I was mistaken, you fight for the people, not against them. Yeah. I'm going to go over here because there's just a guy standing out front. I want to see if we can fight him. No money, no problem. Well, I'm starting financing at a mere 10,000% annual. Okay, for you, we're going to go parry stance. Um, for you, it doesn't, echolocation really doesn't matter because there's only one person. Just keep doing parry stance, buddy. And you can use echolocation again, which is interesting. Oh no, that actually just took me out. I wonder if they have the same type attack, uh, stab. I wonder if they have stab in here, same type attack bonus. I haven't seen anything that says they do. The wall doesn't have a currency, so no way paid off yet. Interest, because she's compound in the meantime, however, it's a perfect scheme. This place looks interesting over here. We're just like in the ditch, though. I can't actually get up there. We've actually been over this way before. We'll go back to town and heal up real quick. So going to the south is not the way to go. I do kind of miss the cafes for they write your name on a cup. But my experience has it as well. I correctly very little. <laughs> Mostly end up with Kaylee. What I got Carol, which is way off the mark. I said Clements makes far better coffee than any chain store. I'm not sure I'll be able to go easily back to regular coffee if I ever get to go back home. Oh, we have some evolutions that can be done. Oh, wait, that is Carney Viper's evolution. Okay. Oh, yeah, he looks pretty cool. Hunt what your avid tracker is able to presume. I target several miles ahead of them with little difficulty. They've been known to accidentally set their only fixed ears on fire with torches they carry. Okay, seems like we have no choice. Not to go the difficult route of the northern path. Is 
These things are like relentless too. What should you start off with, uh, your multi-strike now? Holy crap, parry stance actually worked for once. <laughs> Very rare occurrence. Yeah, that just turns spit into a very nice move that a cool location does. Spit is just very strong. Well, at least we defeated all the um, trainers. Or whatever their uh, equivalent name would be in this game. I'm not actually sure. Like, I know rangers are a thing, but these guys aren't rangers. Because rangers is a faction thing. It's like... You're kind of like a um, cultist, I don't know something they're called cultist or whatever. Oh. Well, that looks to be a new guy. You just have like a tech loop just chilling with you. I know this doesn't do as much damage as uh, Sonic Boom, but that should be fine. So I think Slice will help make up for it. It also just lets you save up uh, Sonic Boom. We did get a win there. Energy shot. Okay, you changed that to fire. Okay. Interesting. Well, hold on now. I wanted to equip the energy shot to you. I don't care about air coding at all. I do like energy shot though. Can't see the. I saw the uh, lever in the bushes up there. So we want to get rid of the Thakalope. We do have a toaster tape, which is going to help us record you. Well, is the toaster tape just literally guaranteed? I do like this bullet guy, and I'm probably going to use him. Oh, we got a Voltino Dash ability. Interesting. Voltino has only one defense mechanism that has launched itself headfirst into danger from panicked. Bad idea, we'll do it anyways. You're favorited now. I am very interested. No, don't you self destruct. Get 
Okay, so yeah, that is definitely a dash. Ooh, you go fast with that. I do see the train station up there. I'm interested. Final breath. If your HP is above 80%, you receive an attack that would reduce you to zero survival on HP. Um, I don't entirely know when it's going to be useful where someone's going to do like 80% of your damage to you immediately. And then you're like, okay, I survived on HP. How do we get back up though? You okay, buddy? What is that? Mm -hmm. Sleeping? No. I'm not sleeping. I was meditating. I'm Zed, by the way. That's why it's getting real difficult to meditate here with the bulls and the zooming around. Any chance you can sort that out for me? Defeat five of them. Okay. There are a lot of them. Whoa. Holy crap. Is that a Bulletino's evolution? I don't know what this is, but I love him. Okay, I'm immediately trying to record you. Cool, we got him recorded. The back of Velociraffle's skull contains a chamber full of gunpowder. It can ignite at will, launching a projectile sword inside the barrel of its face. Okay, you have very good aim. Favorite of you two. You're extremely cool. I really wish I could find a camp. <laughs> I'll deal with the bullets for you, don't worry, but I really want to find the camp so I can rest and change out my people. I don't know if I'm going to. Okay, let's just fight the bullets for now. And then since you have such a good move, hopefully they will just get one-shotted. Yeah, so their sprint didn't even matter. The self destruct is annoying though. My squirey is still doing his job though. It's funny when they have raised arms, but they don't actually even have arms to raise. So I know this guy is one of the captains, so I want to make sure I wait. Um, to heal until we're about to fight him. I know there's no chance that we're going to be able to actually fight him. So we're going to go back. I know we came so far, but we're going to go back and help uh, heal up because... Um, we really just need to heal our people. 
basically. I really want to... Yeah, I want to evolve you. You can see what your other form looks like. That's pretty cool. Manny Spear. It's where he gives into dark impulses while he's training. That's kind of Manny Spear. Hiding beneath the black helmet. Fights without restraint or self-control. Okay, we're gonna put you in storage and put you in storage. Take um where's my guy at? Alright, I'm taking you out at the party. And I'm gonna take a bulletino just in case. Um they evolve into something different. You've also got rifle, and I like it better. So I'm gonna want to have you in the party. Hello, friend. Fish on a boat in the waves north of Autumn Hill, though, they never guess what's part of the fog. It's an office jutting out the sea. Bulls will give me the creeps. Huh. Interesting. So they got a dang landkeeper's office out there. Now we're going to run back. And see how fast we can make it back with our... Ooh, we can go a long way. I just need to be careful with it because you do get tired out at the end. But as long as I stop it just before the end, then it seems to be a very effective method of travel. It's going to take a little bit of time to get the exact timing down pat. Can you see how many of these bullet boys we need to deal with? Oh, where's that at? I must be blind. Scatter shot. Okay, we need to take out two more. Let's read this class as a side quest because I'm pretty sure this is what we needed to fight him because that's the captain. Trying to all you have is sprint and spit, so we definitely need to get you leveled up. I'll tell you, the self-destruct is very annoying. Cool, we got rapid fire, which is going to take mm, about a thousand years to charge, but... It should be cool at least to um, use infusion though, because rapid fire, I imagine, is going to be very easy to use infusion. Confusion has so much AP. that count because I know that technically wasn't one of the bullet boys but scatter shot yeah it did not count okay here we go here's another bullet boy
come on, don't die, please. <laughs> Alright, good. We didn't actually die. So that means I can repair you without, you know, actually having to use my uh, respool. I used the light repair instead. Hello. Thanks. Thanks for that, man. It shouldn't be this hard for a ranger captain to get a bit of shut eye around here. Oh, I totally forgot you're a ranger captain. I guess take a ranger training challenge, right? You ready to battle? Yep, let's go. Alright then, let's hit the hay. I mean, hit the battlefield. Okay, and that's where we're going to end this for here. I'm going to leave you guys on a cliffhanger as we'll come back next episode with Battle Captain Z. This is Bonus Sam Blubba signing off. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye, God bless, and see you all in the next one. Bye bye.